Hello all, welcome to qavalidation.com. So in this video, we will be seeing how we can access Excel sheet data by using Java. So it's basically we will see how we can do certain operations on Excel sheet by using Java. So for this, uh, we have a library called Apache POI which will help us to read and write the Excel sheet. Now let's talk about a manual operation. So how we access an Excel sheet? Basically we go to the folder path where our required Excel file is there and then we open that. It's basically the workbook and then we open the required sheet number. So let's say sheet number 1 and then we go to the particular row number and the column number to get our data so it's the same thing we will do the operation by using java programming let's switch to eclipse okay so i created one new project that is test pre r o j and then i created a package okay once you create a package you need certain jar files to access the apache py library so to download the jar files the link will be mentioned in the description below you basically need four jar files that uh, can operate the excel sheet by using java okay so now let's create a new class and just give any name so let's say that I'm giving excel rw and then just click on this checkbox and then you need to create certain objects of the excel to get started okay so i have this particular objects uh, with me and let's import the required packages from the jar file okay so we are done with uh, importing the jar file okay so once you uh, mentioned all the files so as we discussed what is the manual operation so we need to open the file right so let's do the same thing here as well so new and then file input string do a control space it will get and it will ask you the excel sheet file okay so we don't have currently any excel file so let's go to the project folder so in system explorer and then go to the uh, this folder and let's create a excel sheet here okay and just give the same name okay and one more thing the apache py library can be used to access the excel s file as well as excel x file as well okay so you need not to worry about that so it will ask to throw an exception so for time being let's go to the exception throne okay so once we are done with accessing the file name let's create the workbook okay so there is a object called as workbook factory yes i do have and then create the file name that is my fis object once i'm done with that I'm done with the, so after that I need to go to this sheet right now WB dot is this is a new sheet or a new Excel sheet I can just go to so the default Excel sheet will be sheet 1 okay and if you renamed that you can give that instead of sheet 1 okay so once we are done now we don't have any data into that right and see here you can't see the excel sheet so what you can do go here and refresh so that you can get the file on the window so let's go to there open the excel sheet and just give any data so let's say that to access the data for now i'm giving something okay and we will see 
how we can enter the data by using the Java or by from the programming okay and now okay so the first thing we need to know how many rows we have data into that so the py library give us number of rows an option called as sh dot get last row number okay so let's go to the syso and let's print initially to just to know so let's run it okay so it's showing a zero because it always starts from the index zero okay so not an issue now we will see how we can enter the value by programming because uh, before we saw how we entered manually and then we are trying to access this okay so now let's create one row equal to sh dot so we will create a row that is nothing but my first row that is nothing but the second row one is the index because the index starts from zero so the sh dot create row one will be creating the second row okay so once we are done with that then what we are going to do we are going to create a cell that is yes we have something now the same thing just create zero okay and then now we can enter the value so cell dot set cell value we have some method let's see if i have yes i have so here you can see the set cell value is a overloaded method because you can see it can accept a boolean value it can accept a calendar date or a date even it can accept a double value a rich text string or a normal string so let's go for a normal string and then just mention something into that okay now we are done with that now we want to get the value okay now we set the value now let's see how we can get the value so for that reason the same thing let's create cell dot so there is something for so we enter the value by using set cell value now to get that we have something called as get string cell value okay so and before to that once we assigned the i mean we are assigned a value to the cell right so for that reason we need to perform certain operation so for that we need to access the file output stream that is fos equal to new file control space you will see something called as so it's the same file right we want to write into the same file so test data dot xlsx so here you can see the beauty of the workbook factory this will work is to enter the value into the excel sheet and also you can read the value from the excel sheet so it's basically the one code or one set of code where you can read and write the excel sheet operations okay so the next thing will be we need to write it right so what is our file output stream right that is our the file output stream object then just flush it by using the inbuilt flush method and then close my file output stream okay just purpose let's make it as okay so now let's run this code quickly okay so as you can see the initially it will be zero means I have one row of data and then I'm setting the value as QAB and the same value I'm getting it by using the get string cell value okay so this is just a simple operation where we can access a single cell value 
but what if I have multiple rows of data so for that reason what I can do I can go to the file so manually let's enter certain values so let's say I am just uh, deleting this and I am entering my own value something okay and then here let's say mercury one two three so I'm just entering some value okay and now for now let's comment this code because I'm not going to print a single cell value rather I need to read the data right so even I don't need the file output stream object as well because the FOS is used to set set the value only not get the value okay so now I have multiple rows so quickly let's see how many rows I have so here you can see I have the index is 2 it means that I have 3 rows of data okay so to get all the data I need to use a for loop because I can loop it in each row to get the data so quickly assign or initialize a variable i then what I need to do so if I'm starting from 1 then I need to continue till the number of rows I have right so number of control space yes then i plus plus increment it up to the end of the row and then get the data from there okay so for that reason what i need to do i need to use the sh object that is my seat object and then get row let's see if we have something called as get row yes we do have and then just create because see here i am not getting the data on the first row that is my headings the username and password which i don't need because i need only the values from there okay so it's basically i am accessing the uh, value from the second row onwards okay so get cell yes so what i need to do so initially the second row but first column data so this is my first row only but what if my sorry this is my first column now what if i want to access my second column data is the same thing the row will be an incremented one and the column will be one okay if you're not getting what i am doing here if you see the output you will come to know what i'm trying to do here okay so here you can see two means that is my three rows in that initially i am accessing my username and password so this is nothing but my first row and first column sorry is the second row and first column is the se is the second row and second column this is my third row first column this is my third row second column okay and uh, so that's all we can access the data from the excel sheet and we can write into that so to summarize that it's basically if you want to write the data you can create the row and column as we did initially and then you can set the cell value once you are done with that so to set the value you even need this four lines of code because that is my file output stream okay and to get the data you don't need the fos objects you can directly access the fis and the seat object and from there you can access the number of rows by using the sh get last row number and then you can loop it by using the for loop okay and one more thing to note it down that the index starts from here from zero okay for java poi library okay so that's all i had to show for today thanks for watching and have a good day